Hello everyone, artist Charles Wolf here, back again for another painting video. Very excited today to show you this abstract, it's a simple little abstract, pretty basic design that I think anyone can paint, even a child can do this painting. You can pick any colors you would like to do this abstract. Today I'm going to be using the colors that I like, and they are ultramarine blue, I have some phthalo green, some alizarin crimson, some mars black, and some titanium white today. I'm going to start by putting in a half circle, a semicircle, with this Mars Black. I'm going to take some of the ultramarine blue, a touch of the water, from my water cup that's off to the side, and I'm going to start to fill up the top right corner of this canvas with this ultramarine blue. I'm using acrylic paint today, painting on a 16 by 20 inch canvas board. There I'm using a 1 inch brush to lay in this paint. And I have two different directions going on. I have a downward sweeping motion from right to left, and then an upward brush stroke following the curvature of that semicircle. Because I have a square canvas, I want to try to either go diagonals to the corners or have something moving from right to left across the center field, and I think that motion will create some interest with this composition. Gonna blend this black into the blue here, make that smoother, softer transition. Right into my matte liquid medium, it's a nice blender medium, helps the paint to move around and blend together much nicer. Quick downward strokes there with my one inch brush. You'll notice that as I put in this blue, I have a dense section of the pure pigmentation and then I have some lighter sections that I created with the white and I want to have that variation within this upper section of my painting. Bringing in some phthalo green, nice counterpoint to the blue, some nice jewel tone colors. Keep your brushwork relaxed, active, and moving. And one of the wonderful things about painting abstracts is that there's no right or wrong way to do them. If you paint this painting and it looks different than what I have, that's fine. If you're happy with it and you enjoyed the process, that is what is important. There's some ultramarine blue and a bit more of the matte liquid medium. Abstract painting as opposed to say landscape painting and other forms of still life painting or portraits is very free. It's more about the color, the form, the structures you're creating, and less about the actual image of course. We're just playing with color and enjoying the counterpoint of lights and darks, the counterpoint of hot colors like reds, yellow, oranges versus the cools, blues and blacks and things like that, dark greens for instance. Here is some more of the phthalo green. I switched for a second there to my 3 inch brush, lifting upwards and blending, and now I'm back to my 1 inch brush with this phthalo green. I'm going to come back here in a minute with some more of the ultramarine blue. There we go. I want this center section to be nice and rich, very vibrant, deep blue color. This compositional design is an extension from the last set of 3 abstracts that I created. You may notice it and recognize it if you follow my channel regularly. The compositions that I'm referring to are Wave, Elegance, and Retro. Those three also feature a semicircular design, kind of going against the natural squareness or the rectangularness of the canvas itself. There we have some white and a bit of the ultramarine blue. I'm going to soften this black band here to more of a gray. I feel like it was too stark a contrast. A little bit more of the white and the gray blending. Now I'm going to take my flat wash brush there with some matte liquid medium and go right into my alizarin crimson. I'm 
being careful here to fix the border. I've touched a bit of that wet black paint and so you can see that it is blending into my red. But that's okay, we can go back and grab some more of the red and put it on. Now when I just loaded my brush there, a part of my brush touched the thalo green, which means there's a bit of thalo green on my brush. I'm trying not to mix the two together. However, you can see some of the green is coming off right there. And that's okay, we can cover it up with some more of the Blizzard and Crimson in a moment. Here's a bit of the Prism Violet using that flat wash brush. A few small thin lines coming down with the Prism Violet for contrast. I'm not sure if I like this effect. In fact, I think it looks too much like a bicycle tire. We're going to cover that up and change that in a few moments anyways. Now I take some titanium white, followed by more of the alizarin crimson. I'm going to cover up that green patch that I did not mean to be there, but like anything, if you get some green on to the spot you don't want it, you can always cover it up, either right away like I'm doing here, or you can let it dry, use a hair dryer to speed the process up, and then after you have the paint dry, you can go ahead and cover that up with more paint. Some more of the Alizarin Crimson. Lots of paint. You really see it's blending and mixing. Some more of the Prism Violet. Trying to get it to look the right gradation. Matte Liquid Medium there. It helps the paint become more lubricated and run off the end of the brush better. Also helps the paint to mix together a bit more. So I'm going from that pure white at the top to more of a darker red into the purple. And here I'm grabbing some more white to make the transition smoother overall. I'm gonna blend that, bring down the intensity of that white at the top. And blend over this with the white. trying to not leave any big streaks of paint. A nice gradation on this side. The Lizard and Crimson bring back some of the purity of the pigmentation, followed by some more Prism Violet to darken this section up. Sometimes when you're blending things out, the white will desaturate the paint too much, so adding some more of the pure pigmentation will increase the saturation once again. Some more of the purple violet there. Taking my clean brush, I'm going to blend this top half better. That's a clean flat wash brush. I actually have two of them and I'm using the other one I haven't used yet. Here I'm obfuscating some of the lines, creating some textural changes by going against the grain there. That paint up there is fairly dry and you can see I'm getting rid of those darker marks, making them less pronounced. They're still there, of course. Every time you add paint to the canvas, it changes something a little bit. About halfway through this painting, I could have stopped. In fact, I'm pretty close to that section where I could just stop right here and not go any farther with the painting, but I decided that I did want to continue, and I'm glad that I did. I think the composition is more interesting because I kept going. So here it is, that could be the finished piece, and that would be a nice decor for your wall. But let's go a bit farther with it, shall we? Let's do this. Here's some more of the ultramarine blue, mixing some white with that. We're going to cover up this dark gray patch, get rid of that black line there. Taking some more of the matte liquid medium, because I want to reactivate the paint that's already on the canvas and that medium will help that paint to blend better. Taking some more of the white with my dirty brush here. Continuing to blend this out. Now 
these colors are not colors I paint with very often. It's fairly light, sort of cotton candy-ish, I suppose. And the reason why I'm using the color palette that I'm using today is because I have quite a few tubes of paint left over from other painting projects, and I wanted to use up some of the colors that I don't use as frequently. In a lot of my landscapes, and even in some of my abstracts, I tend to stick with the basic five colors, which for me are Mars Black, Titanium White, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Naphthol Crimson, and Cobalt Blue. Here I have the wider palette of the purple, the prism violet, the lizard and crimson, thalo green, the ultramarine blue, which is a darker, deeper blue than the cobalt blue, and of course I have my standard Mars black and titanium white. I think the addition of the white has really lightened up this entire composition and made a nice sort of airy, light abstract. I tend to go darker with my abstracts, and it was fun to mix it up try something that is a little more subdued, cheery for sure, and lighthearted, I suppose. And that was great, very fun process. Okay, taking some more of the thalo green here, mixing that with some white. I'm sort of extending these rings, these concentric circles of rings up here on the top right. I suppose they're sort of like the rings of Saturn. I couldn't name this painting the rings of Saturn. The colors are all wrong for that. Here's some more of the white. And so I'm going to extend these rings all the way from the left to the right. And when you stand this painting on one end, on one of the narrow ends, you'll have a very neat effect. Again, it's a fairly easy composition to do. I think that really anyone could paint this painting, even a child. So if you've never painted before and you want to start with something simple, I really suggest you try this abstract. It gives a nice design. It looks very pretty and elegant, and it is very easy to do. It would make a nice piece of decor for your home. And if you don't like these colors, that's fine. You can find other colors that you like, maybe more orange and reds, or maybe some dark greens. That could look nice, green and white. Find something that you like and paint that. Just take this as a basic idea and run with it. A bit more of the ultramarine blue here. I do like the contrast of the red against that green. More of the thalo green at the top. Using a very small brush there, just fixing the corner with some prism violet was uh, showing a bit of the canvas. And here is a large three inch brush to do a little bit of dry brushing and to smooth out a few sections, make this softer overall. I need that green and that red to meld a bit more and be softer as far as the transition goes. Almost done with this painting, a few more moments. Grabbing some of the ultramarine blue, a bit of the matte liquid medium, my flat wash brush, mixing those two together. Gonna come back in here, right at the transition point, and put in some darker blue. Bringing that all the way down. Working on that curve. Gentle strokes here. Some more of the blue. Blending that out. Back to my three inch brush that has a little bit of green on it. 
do some dry brushing, bring that green up from the bottom, up and over, very light touch, feather touch, and then I decide to abandon the very sharp line for a more muted one. I think that looks a lot better. Some more of the titanium white. Back to my flat wash brush. Put more of a white highlight here. Again, blending outwards. Okay, some more of the blue at the bottom. I'm trying to introduce more of the blue and the phthalo green side into the red side. Pull the whole composition together with the touch of the cool in the middle of all that heat. Blending upwards, gently. And we are just about done. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing today if you haven't already. I will see you again soon for another painting video. Thanks.